Allahu Akbar. Welcome back to History Scope Stories. Sultan Murad III was born on July 4, 1546 in Manisa, Turkey, as Shehzade Murad, the eldest son of Shehzade Selim and Nurbanu Sultan, a powerful woman in the Ottoman court. He received a comprehensive education, including the study of Arabic and Persian languages. At a young age, he was appointed as a provincial governor, serving in positions such as Sankak Bey of Akshahir and Saruhan. Sultan Murad III ascended to the Ottoman throne in 1574. His rule began with the execution of his five younger brothers, a common practice to secure the throne. The influence of the harem, particularly his mother and his favorite concubine, Safiye Sultan, often conflicted with the influence of powerful officials like Sokolu, Mehmed Pasha. Murad's early reign saw ongoing conflicts with the Habsburg monarchy and the Ottomans suffered defeats in battles, including the Battle of Sisak. Sultan Murad also engaged in wars with the Safavid Empire, marking the beginning of the Ottoman-Safavid War that would last for 12 years. The Ottoman Empire temporarily established influence in Morocco, which became an Ottoman vassal during this period, but later regained independence in 1582. Ottoman Admiral Mir Ali Beg successfully expanded Ottoman influence along the Swahili coast in Africa, securing suzerainty in cities such as Mogadishu, Barawa, Mombasa, Kilifi, Pate, Lamu, and Faza. Sultan Murad's reign was marked by financial difficulties, including inflation and increasing expenses. The Ottomans had to adapt to the changing military techniques by training infantrymen in the use of firearms, which placed additional financial strain on the empire. The influx of silver from the New World led to high inflation and social unrest, particularly among the Janissaries and government officials who were paid in debased currency. The competition for government positions became fierce, contributing to bribery and corruption. Sultan Murad had diplomatic exchanges with Queen Elizabeth II of England, exploring the possibility of an alliance against their common enemy, Spain. This diplomacy continued under his successor, Mehmed III. Unlike many Ottoman rulers, Murad III never personally led military campaigns outside Constantinople and spent his entire reign within the city. In his later years, he rarely left Topkapa Palace and even stopped attending the Friday procession to the Imperial Mosque, partly due to fears of Janissary plots against him. His daily life followed a strict schedule structured around the five daily Islamic prayers, and he had limited interaction with the outside world. Murad had initially faced impotence issues which were eventually resolved. This led to him fathering numerous children, and he is reported to have had over a hundred offspring. Sultan Murad III had multiple consorts, with Safiye Sultan being the most prominent and enduring. His mother Nurbanu Sultan and sister Ismihan Sultan opposed Safiye's influence. He had at least 26 known sons and around 30 known daughters, many of whom played significant roles through marriage and Ottoman politics. His reign was marked by power struggles and executions including those of his half-brothers and concubines. Sultan Murad III was a great patron of the arts. He actively supported the Society of Miniaturists and commissioned numerous illustrated manuscripts, including the Sierre i Nebi, which depicted the life of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. He also made cultural contributions by placing alabaster urns from Pergamon in Hagia Sophia, and donating a large wax candle dressed in tin to the Rila Monastery in Bulgaria. Sultan Murad III passed away in Topkapa Palace and was buried in a tomb next to Hagia Sophia. This comprehensive overview 
provides a deeper understanding of Murad III's rule and personal life during his time as the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing historical content. Thanks for joining us today at History Scope Stories. See you in the next video.